Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare Dashlane with uh, Bitwarden. The first thing I'm going to compare are pricing plans and then I'm going to look on main features like how does it feel to use Bitwarden and how does it feel to actually use Dashlane. Now I'm not paid by Bitwarden or Dashlane to say like one is better comparing to the other, use that or that one. I'm just going to give you my honest review what do I think about them. So let's just start. When you would go here to Dashlane pricing and Bitwarden pricing, you would see one th main difference. And that's like Dashlane free account is for one device only. Bitwarden is like for mobile, for iPhone, for Mac, that you can connect literally everything with a free account. And this is huge. And this is like missing point for Dashlane in my way, in what I think is Bitwarden winning here, because when you can get free account for everything, it's huge. Now, when we go, like when we talk about a monthly billing, it's four bucks a month or 40 bucks a year. Bitwarden is all about a year, but it's only $10. So I think again, Bitwarden is winning here, but you can't say to me, oh, but it's four bucks a month, but still in a three months, you're going to have, I don't know, $12. So it's like still, then you get like $10 a year with Bitwarden and you get also open source option and encrypted file storage here. So, I mean, it's crazy. Like, like this is fascinating. When I compare Bitwarden to others, I see it everywhere that Bitwarden is much cheaper and the quality is same in some ways, much better comparing to the others. Okay, one password has some advantages comparing to Bitwarden on like what kind of things you can actually a password or how you can, what kind of things you can save. But $10 and $40, if you want to take the year premium, it's huge. And then you're going to see it here, the family, it's a $6 a month. In family organization, Bitwarden, it's $40 a year. And I think that this way Dashlane is winning, that you can actually have it for half a year, but I think you want to have it for a while now. So again, I would go with the annual billing and in annual billing, again, Dashlane is losing. You can invite up to five people in Bitwarden, it's six people. So yeah, that's huge. Now to go further and how it actually feels. So to summarize the pricing plans, Bitwarden is winning, just period. And now let's just talk about how it feels to use Dashlane or how it actually feels to use Bitwarden. So we would come here to Dashlane, you got passwords, secure notes, personal information, payments, and IDs are preparing. Then you're gonna see the password health of your password and dark web monitoring if something was compromised. When I would go click on password, I can simply click add new and I'm going to move my camera. And you can see right here how like you just add your website, URL, login, password, name simple things like using Dashlane is easy it's not hard and you're not going to make a mistake if you choose it it's all about the pricing and what do you actually like then you're going to see the Bitwarden here and again Bitwarden login card identity secure note really similar I click plus here then I got name here username password URL and I can simply create login here what can I do? I'll go to the right top corner with a Bitwarden and click my wallet login and cl click even plus here and add it in my extension that I don't even need to go somewhere. I don't need to like have application and open. I can simply do it here. And this is also a huge advantage in my opinion that you can edit things directly in extension and you can disable auto fill. So yeah. And when I go here, so on Facebook, and I'm going to open it, let me show you how it works. And then we are going to compare the reviews of, look like this, click here, boom, boom, like this. Dashlane is also simple. You just have going to have like this button that you click and it's going to outfill too. Now, when I would go here on extension, Bitwarden, extension, Dashlane, Chrome, and to compare it, Bitwarden got five stars. And Dashlane got 3.5 stars. So yeah. And you can see that plenty of people were dissatisfied with the Bitwarden. And they were losing files and things. So the winner here is Bitwarden. And if you want to really, really 
like you like the dashlane design, you can go with it, but the right way is the Bitwarden. And I'm not paid by Bitwarden. This is really important to say. So thank you very much, everybody, for watching and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.